pack it before, Clement. I hope you <laughs> opened it. The Shy, Ning, Rookie, Jackie Love, and Balan. That's our roster. So starting in game one, it will be the Shy rather than Juke. Oh, and this might actually be a mini redemption for the Shy because he has to prove his chops up against Zoom, who took the first team. He's the first player we're going to see. Levi starting our Vietnam Vietnamese superstar. Yeah. Yigal, the other dumpling brother, and Ip and Lumont to round out the box. Uh, but for Zoom, he actually does have a lot of uh, a lot of things that can play up against the Aatrox. He does yeah. has the Swain. We've seen that being played in the LCK as well. He's a phenomenal uh, Victor player earlier on, as well as we saw in the uh, the Dimashia Cup tournament. And he's just a player that has so many tricks up his back. Really? But I have to say, if you're not a lot of strength coming in early, a lot of times you can get the aftershock and just low-scaling picks. And I feel like Levi to have a great game to of the LeBlanc. We will in-game with a Fiddlesticks matchup moving into the equation. This is one of the first times that Imp has not picked up the Ezreal when it was left and available. A speciality becoming... There's a certain <laughs> aura that goes with it. Never mind. Fiddle wasn't visible. Ooh. Look at the damage. Ignite! Bowland is he gonna go down. down. Auto attack <laughs> does it. Little Mal gets flashed on. Ignited himself. He lives. And that is JDG opening up with first blood. And that's the first fiddlesticks where I've seen something like that out on the way out Ooh. in that top side of the map. But Levi turret died I very early dead. on. Levi takes a lot of damage. The fear is down onto Jackie. Double up. They need the kill. Ignite down. A one for one trade. Lumau is out of there. Look at who the kills went over to though. Balan and Lumau pick out yet another one there for the fiddle. Thank you so much. You don't even like fiddlesticks and you know that. Well done, Look Clement. Yigao yeah, actually is level six in the mid lane, but never mind that. We're back to the Here's bottom the lane. Ignite down again onto Bowland. They hate this support from IG. Oh. The 1v2. Jackie Love has done it. Taking them down. It's Impu drops and Lumao can't get a thing. Jackie Love with a great flash forward to get him. This young man cannot be underestimated, but JDG fight back in the top lane. You can uh, see the Ultimate is burnt. Fear beyond death, but Ragnarok stops it down. The Shy flashes away. Never mind. Levi says, come at me. And still a win for JD Gamey. They do get the extra assist gold. You know what? JDG, they were born in it. Molded by it. It feels like IG right now looking for a response. And that might be in the mid lane. Massive passive shield from Yigal. Has the flash. Oh. Nick ready to commit. Lambert's fight is available. He'll pop it Does down he? just in time. Yigal drops down and Ning finally moves into a lane. All in. And with no Yigal in the mid lane, Zoom is way too far pushed out. Rookie's coming up. Ning's here as well. The Renekton is in so much trouble. Zoom walks back down but slowed with a red buff. Rookie will help Ning get that kill in the end. Everyone from IG has picked up blood. Spot it out. They're going to go for Rookie. Luma already oh, channeling. Over the wall. The fear comes in. Pro Storm of Legends. Levi smacks down again. Oh, I miss Gigabyte Marines, Levi. That's what it feels like right here, Clement. Two kills now for the Olaf. And both oh, yeah. of these teams are... Exactly right. Dead on, Clement. Loom out, ulting, here we go again, onto Jackie Love, Killer Instinct into the back line, Imp is out of the fight, Fruit Caller down, Imp goes gold, but Ning is just doing so much damage, Levi has to flash away, IG has so taken this fight for their own. Ning has the red buff and the lance for Spike. Oh, you need to get into the realm or pay too. Rookie has no mana to follow up, boy oh boy. <laughs> But the entire map is open now for Invictus Gaming. They can transfer to mid lane, get a couple more tower platings. They can do the Drake. That was a fairly successful Fiddlesticks ultimate. The kills to boot. And for IG, it's it's quite a wonder to see this World Championship team come into the 2019 season in the exact same form. Because a lot of other teams have made roster changes. Let's we'll talk a little bit about Fnatic, who have made key roster changes and are starting off the season poorly across the world. Other teams, you know, you. you might look at maybe RNG who were into the quarterfinals last time, but behind this first turret, Rift Herald is going to take a reverse charge. The turret is going to drop here with the help of Jackie Love, who goes in a little bit too early, but he does go down anyway. Over the wall, IG managed to secure that inner turret out of it. Oh, that me. was a really smart use of the uh, Rift Herald overall. Going to get another charge as well. Bit yeah. of excess damage on the inner turret. IG still here. He, he, yeah. he could judge that JD Gaming were on the bottom side of the map, and he took a very unconventional oh. way of using the Herald straight from behind the tower to get the push going. Watch Lou now, though, over the side. Here he comes. coming in onto the Urg off of the Shy. Tanky. How tanky, though. Into the backside. Zoom's already out of the fight. Forced out is Levi. Lou in the lands for a spike, but he gets forced out again. 
Fiddlesticks is down, and IG survived the five-man fight. And they were in no danger for losing members right there. Ning with the perfect lambs respite. All of IG members standing on top of it, denying access for the JD Gaming members, and they just pushed the team fight instantly back into JD Gaming's court. It's being constantly apparent that IG are confident in all of these fights. Turret goes down, ready to take Yagao next, but it's simply going to be the turret. All of his cool gangster stuff. I think he might have actually teleport gonna come through your gal join the fight earlier. Ning is not here and now Zoom is. Ergon's down, JDG winnable until Lu Mao drops it down. Changed. It has to flash away. Redemption's gonna come down, but it does absolutely nothing. In the front of the fight, Balan helping out as Jackie Love walks Rookie forward. The so again. many summoners burn. Rocky jumps forward into your gal. The final burst lands down. Balan doesn't have the oh. range, but quickness is here. Support wants in, and Ning's ready to party. Zoom over the wall, he must slice. He dices away. IG wins. have gone. You see this critical overflow. Oh. This is a oh. to Ning. He's beat up. He cannot use Lamb for a spike. That is a massive shutdown, and it goes on to Levi. JDG, stop Baron. Yes, it is spotted, but they need to go in now. Rookie's trying to play keep away. 4K now. Realm Warp music out. It's a bait at 3K. Rookie's in on the side. Pro Storm in. Lumao brings in Imp, who just ults straight away. In. Feathers fly, but Lumao's caught out. Golden in the middle. He is going to die. Jackie Love picks it up, and Levi forced away. Imp needs to do something. He's on the front line of this fight. JDG getting cornered off. Levi wants to join the team, but the flash in from the shy. Jungler down from JDG, and RG go up straight to the Baron. Good. Well, with the numbers disadvantage and a gold disadvantage, Whoa. they have to make something work Zoom now. Zoom and wants something out of this. You're right. Lockdown is the shy. Baron at 3K. It's in as well. Brothers, 3 versus go. 5. Getting the AOE oh. into the pit. Lamb's respite. IG Jackie nice Love. 3 Barry hitting no still. Down. No one hits it until Nick spikes it down. But it is there. And if they live in the back, AOE. Little Mount comes in. It's a party. Drop the flag. JDG ace. And the Dumpling Brothers bring it back to the forefront. It looked like a great play from Ning. The Lions was by his team alive, but not the Baron alive. That was a crucial play right there. If you see the damage right here, the Vickers Gaming do have a chance to simply take the Baron. Zoom with the Great Flash goes in, and you can see the Lance respite does cover the Baron, prevents it from being smited, from being taken, and JD Gaming wow. needs so much time to actually gather their forces and clean up the fight. I want to see who took Baron down. If Victus Gaming did take Baron down, yeah. but it was still a out their vision with the side uh, with the mid lane push as well. Imp's not there. So this this turret is going to go down. It's whether JDG want to force it. Lumao pops on down. Remember, Crowstorm is available. Levi goes gold. Crowstorm is coming in. It's only one in the shy. Zoom, comes Zoom is flanking in on the backside. Straight onto the bottom lane. But Zoom gets bursted down. IG has found their dream fight. Levi onto Bow Land. But Realm Warp's in. They just need to get out. JDG has thrown everything away. And Imp's only left alive. IG again. Their macro triumphs all. And that was such beautiful play from Baolan. This is why Rakan is one of the best champions in the meta so far. He can not only engage, he can counter-engage. He went back on the four members of JD Gaming that were trying to meet up with Zoom on the flank, and he basically made them deal zero damage in that engage. They could focus down Zoom and then turn their attention toward the remaining members. And it's going to be only Yagao who remains here in the fountain. That's the final kill. The full-blown ace for IG. JDG challenged our reigning champions, but it was not enough. Invictus Gaming remain undefeated here in game one and give us so much to look forward to in this series. It was the first big team fight loss that Invictus Gaming had to endure throughout their run so far, but in the end, they still come over triumphant on the JD Gaming roster. That was a really good play coming in from, uh, from Balan, especially at the end. I like the way he positioned it. The flank idea from uh, JD Gaming, I felt it was a bit half-baked. They did have a bit of mistake from Levi earlier on. He had yep. to burn his stasis early. The engage, I don't think, was tight enough. They didn't have both sides collapsing at the same time. And Invictus Gaming was able to play one flank first and then turn around for the other. But to say something lightly, Clement, JDG got a couple of windows open, and that's what excites me about the rest of this series, that it could potentially go the distance. JDG could find some of those open... <laughs>